the shit. Flimsy as shit. I'm guessing this is the original shit. I don't know. Well, that's the hardest part. So, the seat should be easy. It's just bolts. I'm not going to go taking that out. But. Seats just pop up. I think I might use both hands. All right. So, like I said, we got the headliner out. I got the the bottom of the back seat out. I just finished up. It's about nine thirty. I got the seat out. I just got it uh, held on by uh, one bolt over there. Just because if I don't, it'll it'll fall back. Um, same with this seat over here. This one ready to ready to lift out. I got it held on by a bolt over there. Uh, the back seat is out. Uh, so yeah, we got everything done. I'm just leave all this shit in the car because I won't. I'm not touching the car again until I get the interior back. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw this back seat back in the car. That way, when uh, when uh, either tomorrow or the day after, all I gotta do is grab it out of here and throw it in the truck, and I'll be done. Not bad. Just okay. shit back in here. Just leave it in there like that, and then I might just toss the headliner back in here too. Uh, just for now, or I might take it in the house, I don't know, but, um, that's it for this part of the video, um, I'll see y'all when I get this interior back, alright, try, so, I just snatched the interior out of here, so, I got a console getting built by somebody else, um, it's gonna match the seats, it's gonna be the same exact material, um, so that, I think that'll be done in like a month or so, but, yeah, I'm about to go ahead and um, drop this uh, <clears throat> drop this shit off on the way to work. And uh, he said he just got two cars out the way. And he's working on one car, but he don't have all the material for it. I got all my material. Got my roller material right there. Seats. And then I got my um, my headliner in here. Um, the sun visors. And I got the suede for the headliner. Um, so... I'm hoping he could do something about this. I don't know if we can put like a piece of like ABS plastic in here or like MDF, like some some thin ass plywood. Cause it's like, that shit flimsy as fuck. <laughs> but I'm about to go ahead and get it dropped off and then I get back with y'all when I get the shit back. All right, what's going on guys? It's been a minute. Not a minute for y'all, but a minute for me. Um, picking up uh on the the interior um the interior refresh on the monte carlo so i dropped these seats off um i think july 30th no june we july august july i dropped them off like july 30th i think it's september 15th i'm just now getting all my shit back i picked up most of it yesterday and i picked up the last piece um for the backrest today and uh, it's still not completely done. Um, dude still got to do um, my headrest embroidery. So he got to take the material to get embroidered tomorrow and wrap the headrest and then it'll be done. So um, I got the front seats done. I got the back seats done with a bench in the backrest. Um, I got the sun visors done in suede and I got the headliner done in suede too. And I found out that the headliner uh there was a different type of headliner in the car like some something somebody made like custom or something because uh, i found out that the t-top headliners are only the back half and then the front half is like all those trim pieces i don't have none of those trim pieces it was just like a big t which y'all y'all see in the video um so i got the back half so i gotta find out what i'm gonna do with the front half if i'm gonna try to find some plastics they're kind of expensive so i don't know um if i'm gonna be able to find them all but 
I don't know. I'll figure out something. I might reuse that old piece, like reinforce it and rewrap it since it was, you know, it fit perfect. Um, I would have never known if I didn't take it down to get redone that it wasn't the right piece. So, um, with that being said, don't be cheap, y'all. Do not be cheap. I got this shit done for a good price. I got it all done for about 900 um, plus what I paid for the material, which really wasn't much. Um, so, if you look on, like, uh... Mike's Monty's or uh, Dixie Restoration. They have like a OEM kind of seat seat covers for the back and the front. I think they're like seven or 800. So I don't think I did bad. It just took fucking forever. I missed all, you know, I miss all the good weather because it's the weather just now starting to hit like 70s, you know, um, mid 70s pretty much every day now um, in September. So. But I missed a lot of the, you know, so I couldn't drive my car because I ain't had no interior in it. So don't be cheap, y'all. Don't be cheap. That's all I'm going to say. But uh, let me turn this camera around and show y'all what's going on. And then I'm going to throw this interior in the car. And uh, that'll probably be it for this video. All right. So I went with the, I wanted to go with the factory look. Um, so I matched up the burgundy um, in my car as close as I could. And, um just had them wrap the seats you know what i'm saying just just factory with a little a little twist you know what i'm saying so um the stitching is like a yellowish gold i don't know if you can really tell on camera but <clears throat> um yeah the fronts these are some visors uh did them redid them in the suede and uh i got the headliner in the car over there and then this piece this back a little loose but uh, he said if i hit it with the heat gun it should tighten up but i mean we'll see maybe it'll tighten up when i get it like all installed and stuff but I'm happy with it for, for what I paid. Um, it just took too damn long. So, um, let me see, I got the headliner in the car cause I was gonna put it in yesterday, but I might just hold off on it, I don't know. So that's the, the piece I got. I think I got this from Mike's Monty's too. Yeah, I called him, this was the last one in stock. I talked to him on the phone, so that's sweet. Um, so yeah. Um, I got a new console coming and it's the same uh, material and the same color as the seats. So, um, yeah, that should be it. The dude, the dude should actually be, he said he's gonna finish it up this weekend. So I'm gonna hit him up today and see where he at with it. And um, yeah, so we got custom console coming. Pretty much, you know, we got the interior refresh. The carpet's fairly new. I'm gonna vacuum it before I put the, uh, the seats in here, but See, I didn't, I didn't feel the need to get, like, my dash or nothing done. It's all in good condition. My doors, my plastics, everything good enough for me. I didn't see a need to get it done. I just wanted to refresh the seats because they was faded from, I guess, the car just sitting out in the sun and stuff. So, yeah, let me go ahead and um, get these seats up in here. And then I'll get right back with y'all. All right, guys, so I got the interior and I got the back seat. Um, the back of the seat and the, uh, the front seats uh, bolted in. Um, I ain't 100% happy with it. The back seat's got a little uh, imperfections, but it's not nothing I feel like I need to address it immediately. I'm just happy to have my seats back so that I can drive the car. But I need to put a new ignition in it first. I jump started it the other day and um, it was been, it's been sitting for a month and a half, you know, since I had no seats. Started it let it run for a little bit, it wouldn't cut off. Took the key out, it was like bogging, you know, put the key back in, twisted it forward, and then just pick right back up where it left off. Um, so I caught up. Um, my boy, he said, it's probably your ignition. So I got an ignition in the house. Um, but the one o'clock NFL game's about to come on, so that shit ain't getting done probably till tomorrow or the next day. Um, but let me go ahead and flip this camera around, show y'all um, how the seats came out. All right, so here you go. Bolt it down. This head rest will just slide down in there. The back, it's a little loose right there, but I mean, it is what it is. And you be cheap. The lines aren't all lining up. You know what I'm saying? See how it's like a little off, but like I say, it ain't nothing that, you know needs to be addressed right now um i'm happy with it overall um hopefully i get the headrest back for this car show we got coming up 
Uh, look how good this 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 color matched up. I picked this color out um, off of a sale sale right. Um, I ordered like three samples, and um, actually actually what happened is this is the one. This didn't come off sale right. This came. I got this from All Bright Supply, Mr. G Body. This is the the color that he wraps his consoles in his oxblood console so i hit him up asked him what color it was he sent me the link uh right back within an hour um and this is the color that matched best with the factory interior see how close it is to to the factory console um but when the other consoles gets here it'll be the same exact you know because same exact thing because that's what the guy's wrapping it in um but you can't tell by looking at it and looking at the dashboard i mean i think it's pretty close i like the the, the thick lines and it matches the, the door panel so um yeah overall i'm happy with it i need to clean the car up, but like i said the game's about to come on so that shit probably get done like a little later on or um tomorrow or the next day but that'd be it for the uh for this video guys um let me know what y'all think let me know what y'all think if i should uh if i should wrap the steering wheel in the same color i got i got extra material honestly i might try to do this myself um, I don't think it'll be that hard, but let me know what y'all think. I think, looking at it now, I think I might do it. Yeah, I think I might do it. But, uh, yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what y'all think.